Hello friends, welcome back to Learn by Rahul after a long time and today we are going to discuss about a very most most important topic how we can create the test cases in the Zira or how we can import the multiple test cases in the Zira with the excel sheet and how we can raise a bug or ticket in Zira so this is very most important uh, favorite topic we can say for the uh, freshest students uh, like every time the interviewer can ask about it okay so please watch my video up to end so you will get a proper clearly understanding how we can do that okay so without wasting our time let's start how we can do that okay so first once we logged in here we can see the create button okay once you create the button okay then there is a issue type so it is a drop down here you can select the taste okay and then it will go for the summary so in the summary you can whatever the descriptions of your taste cases you can uh, the small summary descriptions you can highlight it let's suppose if you want to like uh, you have the taste cases to log in with valid username and the password so you can enter in the summary screen okay then the reporter is by default uh, whatever the username is logged in so it would be shown here okay then there is a components so in the components uh, like let's suppose we have multiple features okay login features home page so you can give the any components name here if it is available so it's totally up, uh, customized you can find it the next is the description so in the descriptions you can uh, whatever the stats you can write here okay let's suppose firstly we enter the url okay the second step is what enter the valid username and the third one enter the password and the fourth is the click on the login so this way you can use the descriptions okay then here uh, the next point is the fixed version okay so fixed version is nothing but in the which uh, build or which version we are doing this test cases okay and the next is the priority so priority is uh, like how uh, it's important or we can say it's a uh, like how it is important of our features okay this can be highest means it's very important part of our functionality then high low lowest so this way we can define it okay the next one is the label so label is nothing but uh, let's suppose we have multiple test cases okay for login features home so we can mark as a login features label so we can easily identify how many test cases are or we can say grouping we can do that with the help of the labels okay so this way we can add the test case and if we want to assign to someone okay so here we can uh, marked or assign it let's suppose if i want to assign this test cases to someone else so we can find it or if we want to directly assign to me so you just click on the assign to me okay then there is epic links epic links is nothing but it's uh, like a core branch of our test cases or we can say uh, the parent user stories or the features link we can link here as a epic okay and sprint whatever the sprint you have decide or you are running uh, in your test cases so we can select from here then we come up with the main core functionality steps okay so in the steps we can define again test steps test data and expected result okay so test steps we can enter here test data whatever 
let's suppose we have the the steps is like username enter the username and the password the, so that is data would be username and password and expected result is what so we can enter here and click on the add if we want to the second step we again once click on the add so automatically the blank field would be displayed and we again add the test step and the test data and expected result okay so like this we can add the test cases okay now we talk about how to import the test cases soon or we can say how we can import multiple test cases so there is one option under the project import tests okay then we come up in the setup section and here we can choose the file where we have the multiple test cases or we can say the test suite okay so once we click on the choose file and then we select the file okay then here we select the options for the setup setting row number to begin import okay so once we import it let's suppose this is the file where the columns are test cases test descriptions test steps test data test result and label so this is our excel sheet right now i want to import or we can say we can map it this excel sheet to our actual jira fields okay so here you can see there is multiple columns so this is what this is the zafar and zira fields means these fields are defined in our zira okay now the imported file there is a drop downs so here are the multiple columns okay also i mentioned in the previous steps so these columns as a drop down would we come up sorry here okay file imported fields so let's suppose assign is so whatever the columns you want to select it so we can easily map it the same as we can do that comments component description secret link external id and whatever the fields we can easily map it so once map it and clicking on the begin import okay so here you can see the two issues will be created correctly okay so this way we can import the test cases successfully now next topic move on how we can create the issue okay so once we click on the create button as shown earlier here you can see this is the create button okay so now the issue type would be bug earlier it was what test because we are we are what doing we are doing the test cases writing and now we are raised a bug so we search first select the issue type is a bug and we give the summary and the reporter component and the description okay so this way again if you want to attach a screenshot or video so we can easily attach it okay and we give the affect version on which build or version it is affected this bug okay if we have the blockers so we can also mention here the linked issues the block and the issue id we can enter it here assign is so we can particular dev teams i can assign here we want to give the epic link so we can give the epic link and the sprint link once we enter all the mandatory field and we click on the create so issue would be automatically created so this way you can see here the issue has been created okay so this is all about how we can create the test cases and multiple test cases in zira and how we can raise the bug in the zira thank you so keep watch my video and learn more things